Hey, what's going on you guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can start to earn money using affiliate marketing. Hey, what's going on you guys? Benjamin here with Motivational Marketer, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can start to use affiliate marketing to start making money online. But before I get into this video, I just wanna first welcome you guys to my channel. And if this is your first time here, and you're interested in learning different methods when it comes to making money online, then I invite you to subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so before I jump into this video, let me just first start off by explaining what affiliate marketing is if you're brand new to the concept. So basically, what affiliate marketing is is where you promote other people's products online through what's called an affiliate link that's coded directly to you. So whenever somebody clicks on your affiliate link and they buy the product that you're promoting, then you earn a commission. So the concept of affiliate marketing is pretty simple to understand, but there's a few things that you're going to need before you get started. So let me talk about the first one that you're going to need. You're going to need to pick a niche or a niche, however you want to pronounce it. But this is basically a specific category that you're going to be focusing on. Now you can just promote any products that are completely unrelated to each other, but if you're serious about creating a full-time income for yourself, then I recommend that you take the time to pick out a niche. Now when picking out a niche for yourself, I mean, I don't recommend just looking for one that has the most potential when it comes to earning money. Go with one that you're really passionate about. The reason why I say that is because you're gonna have to create a lot of content around this niche. Now creating content is gonna be geared towards more people who have no money to start out with affiliate marketing, but even if you do have money to invest into paid advertisement, I still recommend that you take the time to create content. This way, you're going to start to build trust among your audience. So you have to figure out what is a niche that you're going to be passionate about. I mean, the best way to find an answer to this question is just ask yourself what are the things that you enjoy doing. Are you somebody who's always working out and eating healthy? You might want to promote the health and fitness niche. Are you somebody who's obsessed with the latest technology and the newest gadgets that are coming out like smartphones, cell phones, tablets, computers? You might want to go with this niche. So pick a niche that you can see yourself creating content around for a long time to come. Now the next thing that you're going to need to do is pick an affiliate program. So basically this is a program where you can sign up with and become an affiliate and then start promoting their products as an affiliate. So when you sign up for an affiliate program, you're going to get a specific link for any kind of product that you want to promote as an affiliate. Now there are plenty of affiliate programs that you can become a part of for free, such as Amazon Associates, Clickbank, and JVZoo. So let me just write them down in case you guys uh, want to check them out. So Amazon Associates, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's Clickbank. And another one is JVZoo. So you guys can sign up for free as an affiliate with any of these programs and then start promoting any, pro any product that they have available. I mean, these are just to name a few, but there's plenty of other affiliate programs out there and then there's some that are private affiliate programs. So meaning that you would have to pay in order to become an affiliate for that company. So as I mentioned, when you sign up with an affiliate program and you find a product that you want to promote, you're going to be given an affiliate link and that's a piece of code that you're going to paste into any of the content that you're going to create. So if you want to promote, let's say, uh, like the newest iPhone, you're going to be given an affiliate link and then you're going to create content talking about all the features and benefit of the iPhone and then you're going to paste in your affiliate link and just let people know if they're interested in buying it, they can click on your link and that's going to take them to the sales page to buy that iPhone. And if they do, then that sale is going to be tracked back to you. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do once you pick out your niche and you figure out a program that you want to go with, you have to pick out a product. Now this is probably what stops a lot of people from getting started in the first place because they think that they need to have the perfect product in order to start promoting it as an affiliate. And that's just simply not true. You should just pick a product that you know for a fact will help somebody out with the problem that they're having. So if you're going to be promoting, let's say, a weight loss supplement, for example, and you know people have been proven to lose weight with this specific weight loss supplement, then you should promote that to people who are struggling to lose weight. Now, if you can, I recommend that you get the product for yourself and try it out so you can give people your honest review about it. And if you can't for some reason, I mean, just 
Look at the benefits and results that people have gotten from using that specific product. So this goes for any affiliate product that you want to promote, not just a weight loss supplement, but any product in general. All right, so the next thing that you're going to need to do is create content around the product that you're going to be promoting. So there's plenty of different forms of content that you can create, such as blog articles. You can write posts on Facebook, on Instagram. You can even do YouTube videos where you're reviewing a specific product. So why would you need to create content around the product that you're promoting? Well, there's actually two different reasons. One is to promote the product, obviously, to talk about the benefits and features of that product. And two, to also build trust with your audience. Before somebody's willing to buy a product that you're promoting to them, they first need to be able to trust you. You're going to have to be able to show them how the product that you're promoting to them is going to help them. How is that product going to benefit them? How is it going to change their life or whatever that product is meant to do for them? Now, as I mentioned, there's plenty of different platforms that you can use to create content. You can even do a podcast, but I recommend creating videos because videos are more engaging for your audience. So whatever platform that you choose to go with, I recommend just choosing one and sticking with it. Don't try to do everything at one time because you're going to just burn yourself out. And you're not really going to see too many results. So I recommend just going with one platform, whether it's a blog, whether you're using Facebook or Instagram or even YouTube. Just pick one platform and constantly, consistently create content. So as I mentioned, you're going to pick a platform, create content, and then you're going to deliver value. So what do I mean by delivering value in your content? You have to know what your target audience is thinking about. What are some of the problems that they're facing? If you're in the weight loss niche, then people in your target audience are going to be struggling with weight loss. So if you're promoting a weight loss supplement, you can address problems that they're having. And once you address a problem that they're having, you should have a solution that the product that you're promoting is going to provide to them when they purchase that product. So let's just say, for example, I'm promoting this marker right here. And I'm talking about all the benefits and features of this marker. It's better than any other market marker out there. I mean, the ink lasts, I mean, forever. You can use this to write anything. You can draw for it like for days and just talk about how much better it is than the competition like other markers and then just give people a call to action. So what I mean by a call to action is just simply let them know what you want them to do next. So basically referring them to the affiliate link that you're going to leave in the description of your videos or just at the end of your Facebook post or Instagram post or if you're using a blog, the same thing. So that's the basics on how you would make money using affiliate marketing. You pick a product, you create content around that product, you deliver value, and then you give people a call to action by letting them know how they can purchase that product and just referring them to your affiliate link. So you can use this method if you have no money to invest and you're just barely getting started. But if you do have some money to invest and you're serious about making some serious money with affiliate marketing, I would recommend that you invest into an email software service. Now what an email software service is, is basically a service that allows you to create an email list. It allows you to create an autoresponder sequence and send out broadcast emails to everybody who's on your list. Now some email software services, they allow you to also create a landing page for your offer. So what a landing page is, is basically like a one page website where you're promoting your offer or you're getting people interested in what you have to offer. Now, not all email software services provide a landing page, but there's softwares other than that that you can also use, like ClickFunnels. So as I mentioned, a landing page is basically a one-page website where you're going to get people interested to learn more about a product that you're offering. Let's say, for example, that um, we're promoting an online training course that teaches people how to make money. So you're going to have a catchy uh, headline or a title for your uh, for your landing page so it can be something like uh, learn how I made 10,000 dollars in a week and I'm not saying like to lie about it or anything I mean if that's your results then talk about that but if you have um, if you don't have those results I mean talk about something else but basically the point of the headline on your landing page is to hook people in, to stop them from what they're currently doing, and make them pay attention to you. So that's going to be the headline, learn how I made $10,000 in a week. And if that's true for you, then go with that headline. And then basically, 
people are going to see that and they're going to they're gonna be interested. They want to know more about how, how you made $10,000 in a week. So, I mean, I don't, you should never make a claim on how somebody, like how they can make $10,000 in a week because, I mean, that's not, everybody's results are not typical when it comes to this kind of business. But let's say that's the title and you can have a, right here, say, learn more. Learn more and then they're going to enter in their email in order for them to learn more. So, let's say that you have a video where you explain how you made $10,000 in a week. They're going to enter in their email and then they're going to hit this button in order to get access to that video. But what they're also doing is they're going to be added to your email list. Now this is where your email software service comes in. Email list and then people who are interested to learn more, they're going to be added to your email list. Anytime somebody wants to learn more about it. So what you should do is have them directed to what's called a bridge page video. So this should be a little video maybe where you're talking about yourself a little bit uh, how you made $10,000 in a week maybe if it's not a video maybe a picture of you and just have some text explaining who you are and uh, how you got involved and how you learned how to make $10,000 in a week so when people come to your bridge page video you can just like I said mention a little bit more about yourself and then just tell them if you want to learn how I made this money Click this button right here and it's going to take you to the next page and that's going to be usually the sales page of the product that you're promoting. In this case, it's going to be the online training course and it's going to be another video that they're going to watch and it's going to explain how they did it, how they can earn $10,000 in a week and then it's going to have them, it's going to give them basically the option to buy into that course so they can learn how to start earning money online. Now most people who come to your landing page, they watch the bridge page video and they see the sales page. On the first time they see it, they're not going to buy it, but that's okay because now they're on your email list. So what you're going to do is you're going to use email marketing to promote this training course to them throughout a sequence of emails. So let me give you guys a little bit of an example. So they came through your landing page, now they're on your email list, but they didn't buy the product that you were promoting to them. So this is where your autoresponder sequence is going to help you sell that product to them. So let's say that you have a series of emails that you're going to be sending out where you're going to be delivering value in each one of those emails. So every day they're going to receive an email from you on autopilot. So day one, you're going to just introduce yourself, talk about your journey, how you got uh, involved with this uh, program, how it taught you so much when it came to making money online. Day two, you can talk about, let's say, uh, other methods when it comes to making money online. Or maybe why uh, working a regular job is never going to make you rich. Day three, maybe uh, you're talking about how using the internet is, uh, is making you more money than any other job that you had before. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to deliver value. You're going to be addressing problems that people in this niche are dealing with. And you're going to be providing them a solution by giving them a call to action and promoting your affiliate link at the end of each one of your emails. So as I mentioned, just give them a simple call to action by saying if you're tired of struggling, if you're tired of uh, living paycheck to paycheck, if you're tired of working for a boss that you know you really hate, then click right here to learn more on how you can get started to the solution to your problems. And that's basically it. So this is going to be more for people who have money to invest into uh, affiliate marketing. So. The only thing you would have to invest into is uh, an email software service, maybe uh, a landing page service like ClickFunnels or something like that. But that's basically it. And if you can afford it, you can also have paid advertisements so you can get people to your landing page. So when you're creating content, whether it's on YouTube or a blog or Facebook, it is going to take you time to start to build up traction. So. I recommend if you're getting started with affiliate marketing, go with one paid method and one free method. Meaning that if you're using YouTube to promote your affiliate products, stick with YouTube and also set a budget every month to run paid advertisement. So that's basically how you make money using affiliate marketing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to learn more about affiliate marketing, I have a free ebook download down in the description called Affiliate Marketing Blueprint, where I discuss in more detail on how you can use affiliate marketing to earn a full-time income. And if you guys are interested in learning my personal recommendation when it comes to making money online, you can check out the first link 
down in the description below. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought about this video. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.